After much speculation and great anticipation, today a new era for the Volvo Ocean Race was unveiled at a special presentation here in Lorient. Volvo Ocean Race CEO Knut Frostad outlined to the gathered media the major change for the next race. The introduction of a new high-performance one-designed 65-foot boat, destined to make the race more exciting and accessible to a greater number of entrants. The new design, to be built by consortium of boatyards, will be crewed by eight instead of ten and will be more reliable. All boats will be identical, so creating a level playing field for the teams. It will be less expensive to mount a campaign, meaning there will be more boats on the start line in 2014, between eight and ten. I think this will, to some extent, change the nature of the race. Uh, I think that uh, most of ev most of, more than everything, it will open up the race more to who can actually be competitive in the race. Uh, and, and it's creating a much wider uh, opening for, for, for new teams, uh, whether it be female teams, for, for less experienced sailors, to know that they can be on the start line with the same tools as the most experienced ones. I think the best sailors will always win. Uh, and they will win as much in, in the one design class as they will win in an open class. But the opportunity to enter and be competitive will be completely, completely different. Afterwards, we got the reaction to the announcement. Well, I, well, what's been revealed today addresses for me one of the major concerns with the sport and, and, and really a, a huge contrast with the situation with America's Cup at the moment, and that's cost. Uh, anything that reduces cost, and, and we live in a bubble a bit in the yachting world. You're only going to go out in the real world to realise how tough it is, and it isn't going to get better and probably within it'll take a decade. So if, it is, if in fact it is reducing cost, and I've really got to do the numbers to check that for sure, then absolutely. And, and good on Canute and Volvo for actually attacking the central problem that surrounds our sport at the moment, and that is ridiculous cost. In many ways, for me, the most exciting bit was, was the opening bit from the, from the CEO of Volvo Cars and the fact that, that Volvo are you know, backing this project and, and that this is going to become a reality. And, and, in this day and age to have a sponsor so excited about their product and about their race and about the sport and investing in the future for me actually is the biggest <laughs> is the most important thing that's being said we all like talking about the details of the boat but um, you know it's exciting times and, and, and on the commercial side you know we, we, we have to go out there in the market and try and sell this to sponsors and and try and you know persuade people that the Volvo Ocean race is for them and they should invest in it and that I think is going to be an easier challenge now than, than it has been in the past.